This short video lecture is on principal locations of flow convergence in drainage basins, the Hewlett hypothesis of runoff formation in humid climates, in short, and variable source areas. Topographic convergence zones can be hill slope hollows or topographic depressions, that is, slope concavities in plan or slope concavities in section as shown in this figure under A and B. For both types of concavity through flow, subsurface soil water flow parallel to the land surface in the direction of streams, can enter such a concavity more rapidly than it can leave downslope, thereby forcing water to the surface. Also, where an upper layer in the soil that supports through flow becomes thinner, a local water table, the so-called perched water table, may develop and rise to the land surface as shown under C. A perched water table and through flow may also develop as the result of the reducing hydraulic gradient as water moves downward through the soil, even a relatively uniform one. This may cause the development of a saturated layer at some depth in the soil profile as shown under D. The process of a rising water table reaching the land surface is a very important mechanism for the generation of depression storage and then saturation excess overland flow in humid climates. The saturated areas where quick flow is generated, with saturation often occurring from below, are called variable source areas. This figure provides a summary of the Hewlett hypothesis of runoff formation in humid climates as presented by Ward and Robinson. Figure A shows that water infiltrates the slope surface and moves as through flow, that is matrix flow and or micropore flow under the slope surface. With the continuation of rainfall, figure B shows that convergence and infiltration in the lower slope areas leads to surface saturation and groundwater recharge, which will create both an overland flow and groundwater flow contribution to the stream, with the groundwater ridge expanding in some locations into a wider area of surface saturation, as shown in figure C. This figure shows that the areas that become saturated from below expand upslope and upstream if rainfall continues. This phenomenon has been observed in situ as well as through remote sensing techniques. These saturated areas that contribute to quick flow can expand and contract in size between storms and during the course of a single storm. They are called variable source areas. Source areas with an adjective variable because of its expanding and contracting nature. Often, but not necessarily so, variable source areas are located near the channel network that drains the area. The latter has to do with processes such as colliviation, that is the deposition of sediment through the action of gravity at the foot of a slope, causing the hill slope angle to diminish in the direction of the stream, and alluviation, that is the deposition of sediment by streams, causing areas near the stream to be flat, that is when viewed in cross-section. These flat areas are called alluvial terraces and their slope is logically parallel to the former stream's gradient. Thus, processes such as colluviation and alluviation are responsible for having flattened and or flattening the foot of hill slopes and thus for topographic convergence that amplifies the effect of a rising water table and may cause through flow to exfiltrate. 